was the reason why we decided to do this book. Oh, this book? Yes. Yeah. Remember we decided uh, one day to uh, put down on in, in picture form... Um, document the document, period. Yes. Yeah, so document the period and different kind of reality that existed in those days. I've worked with Andre and Danusha on a number of books before. So we were sitting down, having lunch probably, and um, thinking, OK, what are we going to do next together? They said, well, what about telling about our life in Poland when we were art students? How about our account of being there at the begin beginning of the 70s? Once we had this idea, there was a question of how do we, how do we give it some kind of structure, right? How do we give it a shape? We made a list of our dresses because we lived in six different places yeah. and then we made a list of what we remembered. We made loads of notes and then we did these little drawings. The visual element of a graphic novel can bring to life a certain period in history in a way that um, perhaps prose can't. In a way I do think that we can learn a lot from that, from that time because now there's, you know, there's this precariousness of artistic and, and intellectual life uh, which is marked in the UK and in Poland too, it takes its toll on people who are, who are not doing things that are directly uh, contributing to the productivity of the, of the economy. One thing which we did say was that it's going to be very stark, it's going to be quite monochromatic, greyish almost. Poland was very grey, it's much more colourful now. The only colour that, apart from grey, was red. It's a book which, in, a, in quite a sophisticated way, undermines that stereotype of greyness, because it shows that there was a kernel of truth to this notion of greyness. There was a lot that was grey, but um, there was so much going on at that time. <laughs> At the same time, we didn't want to make it too linear. Uh, we liked the fact that it was a bit fragmented. Mm. Memory works in a, in a very uh, fragmentary way, doesn't it? Sometimes you're drawing something and you think, I know, I'm going to draw this. Sometimes if you don't, you know, if it doesn't come, and it goes into something totally different and you think, no, I don't want that. And then it... But it's exciting. Yes, right? and yeah. you keep it. We suddenly started remembering more and more and more and then we just really thought that it would be great to, to put it down. I think that was, it was fun. And for me, uh, I think it might be true of you as well, Danusha, but I think I owe almost everything uh, to that period in terms of my later development as a designer, as an artist, uh, the approach to uh, to, to making work um, has stayed with me. And I think the most important thing is, is that one relies on one's imagination more than anything. Um, you can make things up through your imagination, through your intellect, even if, you, if your means of production are very, uh, very basic. I think what's interesting about being in societies where you are under duress or not have enough money or whatever it might be and almost because of those conditions you create really magical stuff. Why do you think we did it as a book? I mean as a, an illustrative rather than... Because <laughs> we're not writers really are we? No, I know. <laughs>